What's going on everybody, it's Nice Pants Lance, and today I want to talk about Toon ECU. Just want to go over the basics of uh, how to get yourself set up, how to connect to your phone, how to connect to the bike, um, what features you can use with Toon ECU, and so on and so forth. Um, first of all, Toon ECU is a program that you can now download onto your phone that acts as a diagnostic tool. Um, it also allows you access to features like resetting uh, fault codes, um, setting service intervals, um, checking stuff like throttle body balance, you know, it, it connects with all the sensors in your bikes. You can also use it to remap your bike, download a tune to make your bike faster. Um, so I just want to go over a few of those things today. But Toon ECU isn't just for Triumph. Um, also Aprilia, Benelli, Ducati, Moto Guzzi, Marini, Galera, Husqvarna, BMW, CCM, countless bikes uh, can utilize Toon ECU. So the two things you're gonna need is, bam, Android phone and a way to connect to your bike's system. Now, in this case, I am using OBD Link LX. This is my favorite uh, Bluetooth diagnostic tool. Um, this will allow to connect to your bike's OBD port. Um, it was actually designed to be used with a multitude of different vehicles, including a car. Um, so if you work on cars, this is kind of a neat device you can use to check codes um, with your phone, Bluetooth. I think this OBD link was like 20 or 30 bucks off of Amazon. Um, as long as it looks like this, you should be fine. Next, obviously, you're going to want to an ECU in your phone. So there it is, right there. You want this program, it, it's obviously go to the play store um at one point it was free for desktop but uh now the the phone application is is the is the only supported program right now um so it costs you a few bucks on the marketplace but totally worth it as you can tell i'm rocking a triumph speed twin um depending on what bike you got uh the procedure might change a little bit but in this case get that seat out of there now what you're looking for here is, let me get this USB cord out of the way. Uh, what you're looking for here is this OBD2 port that's under your seat of your Triumph. All right, so you wanna plug in your OBD link LX. Make sure that it's getting power. Make sure that the Bluetooth light is uh, seems to be functioning. Now at this point, you need to access your Android device. But first, what we need to do before we go into Tune ECU is your phone needs to recognize OBD link LX as a Bluetooth device. Now the way to do that is to go into your Bluetooth menu and look under paired devices. Now this can be a little tricky and I got stuck on this the first time I did it. But basically what you need to do is uh, you need to go into details, make sure that your phone is, is searching for devices. So get your phone searching for devices and then what you wanna do is you wanna click this button right here that will make your Bluetooth light blink a little faster like that. Now what it's doing is this is on discovery mode, so it will allow your phone to recognize that as a Bluetooth device. Um, at this point, you should see something uh, pop up down here under available devices. It may say OBD Link LX, it might not, but either way, um, you want to pair 
that device with your phone so it is under the paired device menu. Now, one thing that may help out is um, you want space in your paired device list. If you have too many of these devices here, like right now I have five, I don't know what the limit is, but I've noticed that it, you can only hold so many devices under your Bluetooth menu. So if you have to, get rid of a few of these to make room for it, and uh, you should have no problem in recognizing your OBD Link LX as a device. You can exit that, open up your Tune ECU. Basically, you can swipe left and right and up and down too. It can get a little confusing, but anyway, so I swiped over to the right. This is where you get all your sensor readouts, throttle position, engine speed. Um, you can even customize this list to display to display certain things. Like here we go. I can I can change it if I wanted to. I could include voltage from ignition key input. Um, I could remove or add any of these sensors to the list. So if you have a particular hard on for a sensor and you want to know what throttle position sensor voltage you have or anything like that you can add that and monitor it um, this is a really handy tool uh, to let you know what kind of um, it basically lets you know everything that's going on with your motorcycle so at this point, uh, I've kind of gone over the basics on all these different menus. Um, now what we're going to do is connect to the bike. So with this plugged in, obviously your phone recognize it, recognizes it as a device. You're going to want to turn your bike into the on position. And then under the main menu, you're gonna wanna go to connect. See this little ECU button up here? What we're gonna do is connect to the ECU. So you wanna hit connect with your Bluetooth on and it should automatically connect to your OBD link. Um, now the way you can tell is if this little blinking light goes from yellow to green. When it's blinking green like this, you know it is connected. As a matter of fact, um, it is already giving me a readout. See how that throttle position is changing? That's because it's giving me a live readout on what I'm doing. When I turn this throttle, it's actually giving you throttle position voltage. So now that you're connected, um, now it will open up all the different features uh, that you can that you can uh, utilize. Uh, like for instance. You go to ECU now, gives you a selection for error codes. So you can check your bike for codes. If your check engine light comes on, you can go up to Tuni, you can go up to error codes and check your codes and erase them. You can figure out what's wrong with your bike before you pay your dealer. Um, also under tests and adjustments, you can cycle your, your radiator fan, your fuel pump. If you think you have a problem with any of these things, you could actually test run them to see if they work. Um, now, when you go to test and adjustments and you go to the adjustments page, this is very important. Um, a lot of people uh, are big on the 12 minute tune. Now, some of you may or may not know what this is, but your bike will adapt to your riding style. The ECU actually learns and adapts to the environment um, while you ride. So uh, a lot of people will use the 12 minute tune to um, to reset their adaptations. Um, the way you do this normally is you would have to turn on your bike and let it idle for exactly 12 minutes after the radiator fan kicks on for the first time. That's right, not 12 minutes from the time you start it, but 12 minutes from the time the radiator fan kicks on. Um, at that point, it'll reset all the adaptations and you can continue to ride. Um, a lot of us don't have the time to let your bike just sit there and idle. So a fancy feature that this tune ECU provides is doing an instant 12 minute tune, AKA resetting adaptations. Now, if you 
click reset adaptations and hit run, it will clear all the adaptations and basically it's like doing a 12 minute tune instantly. Um, from this point, you would wanna ride your bike around and let it relearn. But uh, that's one fancy feature of this. Um, you can even reset the TPS. Um, I know a lot of people uh, like to monitor that stuff. Um, and even down here, it'll allow you to reset your service interval. So when your wrench light goes on, because your bike is telling you, you got to bring it into the dealer after so many miles, you can actually reset the, the wrench light and you can select how many miles you want to pass before that light comes on again. So if you want that wrench light to come on every 3000 miles, you can set it for that. You want it to come on every 10,000 miles, you can have it your way. Um, now at this point, when you cycle through the menus, you will start getting live readouts of everything that's going on with your bike. Um, now if it, it is a live readout, so that means that if I started my bike right now, it would actually display the RPMs and the um, and the the throttle body uh, vacuum and everything. It's it shows you everything. Um, so now that you're connected, uh, you're able to reset codes, um, test different sensors. Uh, you're able to, you get a live readout of different diagnostics and um, it allows you to monitor different sensors, voltages, uh, vacuum readings, all that stuff throttle body balance like for instance throttle body balance right here you got cylinder one cylinder two and uh now if i started the bike it would actually display a uh, vacuum reading for each one of these cylinders um throttle body balance is making sure that they are within a certain spec from each other and in this case i think it's either 10 to 20 hpa uh, they got to be within 10 or 20 HPA of each other. I'm not quite sure. Um, you're going to have to look in your manual or look online to see what what the tolerance is for throttle body balance. Um, but the biggest feature people um, use with this Tune ECU program is remapping your ECU. Um, with that being said, if there's anyone out there with a speed twin and they want to try my map and they want to have their hand at, at reflashing their ECU, um, just leave a comment, leave a comment down below and meet, we can work something out. Uh, maybe you could try out the tune I have on my Speed Twin. So, um, so hypothetically, let's say we were gonna remap our ECU. Now, um, this process is very taxing on your bike and on your phone for that matter. So you wanna make sure that your phone has a full battery. You also wanna make sure that your bike is connected to a trickle charger. Now, um, reflashing your ECU drains a lot of juice and unfortunately you have to leave your bike in the on position. That means that your light will just be on the entire time. Last thing you want is your bike to die. So what I would highly advise you do is to remove the headlight fuse. Very important, remove that headlight fuse so that your headlight doesn't drain your battery while you're reflashing the ECU. Now what you'd wanna do is obviously get your get your map file, which is a .hex file. Um, they, on Tune ECU forums and Triumph forums, they, they talk about hex files a lot. Um, Let's see, let me get to the menu. Okay, here we go. So in this case, I do not have a map open. Let's see if I can open a map here. Okay, there we go. So I just opened a map that I use, uh, that I've used on my bike. Um, now that I have it open, it throws me. It shows me uh, throttle position tables, shows me air pressure tables um, for cylinder one and cylinder two, uh, shows me throttle position percentage for each gear. Um, it, it, I mean, it shows you freaking everything. It shows you every little thing that's going on with your bike, um, including temps and 
engine RPM, stuff like that. Um, so in this case, if you were to reflash your bike, you'd want to load your map just like this. You want to go up to your ECU, obviously make sure your fuse has been removed. Make sure that your bike is on and you want to hit that reprogram button. Now when you reprogram that, you want to make sure you have the correct ECU type selected. Look it up online, I believe for the Speed Twin, it's a Kaihen, Kaihen ECU, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, basically you want to have the right ECU selected and you want to hit reprogram. The process could take anywhere from five minutes to 25 minutes, but basically you gotta let your bike sit without touching it. Um, gotta make sure that it's plugged into a trickle charger and over the course of five to 20 minutes, it'll reprogram your bike. Now, when you successfully reprogram your bike after that, you're gonna wanna go over to this menu. And at this point, it's appropriate to go to your adjustment tables and then reset your adaptations. So you'd wanna reprogram your bike and then do an instant 12 minute tune on it so you can begin, um, so your bike can begin adapting to the new tune. And that is basically it. Um, these are, I'm sure there's way more features than I have just listed, but this is basically um, a quick rundown of Tune ECU, how to use it, um, what what device to get and uh, and yeah my experiences with it so um, I hope this video helped you guys um, if you have a triumph I wish you the best of luck with remapping your stuff um, if this video helped you at all uh, please leave a like and subscribe um, if you want me to do a more in-depth process on reflashing your bike or anything using tune ECU just leave something in the comments um, I've been working with Tune ECU since I had my Rocket 3 Roadster, so I know a little bit about it. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Peace.